Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to discuss some coffee shots of intellectual property. This topic is testable in uh, CISSP, CCSP, CSUM, CSA exam and I cover some coffee shots which map with those concepts of intellectual property. If you're new to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. Thank you. Okay, so first coffee shot. Which of the following is correct statement of intellectual property? So intellectual property is used to protect the thought process or ideas that is built by human or companies. Okay, and here the question talking about which of the following is a correct statement of intellectual property. So option A, intellectual property law are designed to protect the tangible property, which makes sense. Tangible is physical. Intellectual property are designed to protect both tangible and intangible. That is also correct. Intellectual property law are designed to protect inter intangible property. And option D, it is only protect the goodwill. Goodwill is like a trade secret. So if you ask me, I will go with the answer B, the reason why it protect both. I'm eliminating A because it only talk about tangible property. And if you see the option three, it only talk about intangible, which is already covered in the second. I'm not going with the D because it only talk about one part of the intellectual property, which is called goodwill. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Okay, so next coffee shot, Prab is a part of a legal team and they wish to protect the brand name and goodwill of the company. Recently, some other company use a brand name to sell product and service in the market. Definitely, it's a more concern for anyone. What is the most important action you will recommend to prep to take the protect to take to protect the brand? So here the keyword is brand. Here the keyword is goodwill and here we have a keyword called brand name. Before going to discuss the four options, let me bring you some snacks. Definitely without snacks, the coffee is ineffective. So we have a four snacks here. So when you're talking about intellectual property, it protect four type of property. First is called as a patent, which is used to protect idea. Second is called as a trademark, which is used to protect the name and brand. Option three, copyright protection, which is protect the expression of idea rather than idea themselves. And fourth is basically trade secret, which protect the competitive advantage. Now, when you talk about patent example, like uh, we talk about the example of patent is right now COVID vaccination. Okay, chip company basically build the chip. Okay, Android built by Google, iOS built by Apple. So it's a unique invention. So whenever in the question talking about inventions, novels, ideas, chip, okay, concept that will be protect under the patent. Second is called as a trademark. I'm sure you heard about this uh, google.com, google.com. Okay. Logo by which we identify the phone. Okay. There is, was a trend that, okay, there is a company which is building us, uh, you know, pirated phones with the Apple logo and all that. So trademark is basically representing a name. Trade is a business. Mark is identification. So by the Apple logo, we identify Apple. By Samsung logo, we identify Samsung. So domain name, logo, logo design by which we identify a product that is called as a trademark. Same like we buy a Lagos t-shirt or whatever Lacoste t-shirt for their crocodile logo. So that is a perfect example we have, right? Third is called as a copyright protection. It protect the expression of idea rather than ID themselves because ID themselves protect under the patent. When you're talking about copyright example, source code. Now, there is always a confusion among the participants. Source code is a part of a patent or not. Let me explain you the reason. See, Google built Android. Okay, so Android Android was a new innovation for the mobile OS, but definitely it is wrote on some programming language where they have expressed the idea of that concept. So that is why the source code is something you wrote in any language. It can be Java, it can be .NET and all that. But that concept was protect under the patent and the source code the way you wrote because program pattern is a very common for everywhere okay so that will be protect under the copyright lyrics protect under the copyright there are a lot of music directors who indian music director has copied western music 
so that is basically come under the copyright protection anyone can use my slides okay word by word they cannot use that they need to reshuffle some words and then use that otherwise i can claim i can file a case against them for the copyright violation so anyone can use hurt anyone can use brain and everything anyone can use the word called house i can use the word house but it is all about how i am using that in my songs in my words so copyright protect the expression of idea then last is called as a trade secret like taste of coca cola pepsi they never reveal they only talk about the ingredients they will use to make a coke or pepsi but they never publish the formula same like in hyderabad biryani we have a different brands who offer biryani and they also publish the ingredients but how they basically mix they never reveal so patent trademark and copyright it is something goes public that is why we register trade secret we never register because based on that only they compete in the market same like my ic square isaka training which i do okay i am using my own trade secret by which i am different from others joking okay so everyone has their own capability and scalability it is all about what kind of a unique information i'm using in my training i'm using very general thing which others are using but how i mix it is my internal to the organization ha huh? if that goes disclose something happen then there is no value of me in the industry so in this question they talking about brand and goodwill so patent used to protect the idea trademark is used to protect the brand name and goodwill and uh, copyright used to protect the content and trade secret used to protect internal to the organization so if you ask me the answer is basically b b for beta trademark let's move to the next coffee shot okay so we have a next coffee shot winch intellectual property is designed to protect the goodwill keyword is goodwill an organization invest in its product service or image goodwill is there invest is there product service and image so patent used to protect the idea copyright protect the expression of idea trade secret is internal to the organization so what is left is only trademark because see when we selling any product in the market how we differentiate our product from others so with the help of trademark only we can able to differentiate and this is how we build the goodwill we pay for only apple logo right we pay for only lacoste right for the design so that is where the answer is d let's move to the next coffee shot okay which type of intellectual property is internal to an organization and provide a competitive advantage or at very least allow the company to compete equally in the marketplace keywords are competitive advantage and another keyword is internal to the organization so option a patent option b copyright option c trade secret and option d trademark so patent protect the idea and after that it goes public copyright protect the expression of idea that goes public trade secret is internal trademark also goes public so only option which is left is answer is c for charlie trade secret let me check yes the answer is trade secret let's move to the next coffee shot okay so which type of intellectual property provide the strongest form of intellectual protections option a patent copyright trade secret trademark see patent is considered as a strongest form of intellectual property reason why suppose if google has a register android no one can register android if one company register for vaccination no one can able to copy that exp- that idea because when you register for patent it become global it become national so it is not something you can copy easily but copyright can be copy easily you just change the word you just change the music tune you can do that trade secret one is disclose it has no value and trademark slightly modify you can give a new name so the strongest form of intellectual property is basically called as a patent okay but after 20 year it goes public on the market let's move to the next coffee shot okay so which type of intellectual property usually protects artistic property such as writing recording computer program which is called source code and all that so patent is not used for that because patent only protect the idea but idea need to be developed source code need to be right so that will be under the copyright 
but trade secret is internal to the organization trademark is only displaying the logos and everything so only option is basically left is copyright that's why the answer is b b for beta let's move to the next coffee shot which of the following statement is most true about the copyright option a copyright cover the expression of idea that is true copyright cover the expression program only that is also true copyright cover the expression of artistic work only that is also true and copyright covers the expression of content only so 4 3 2 is basically part of a one so copyright cover the expression of idea which can be of any form it can be program it can be artistic work it can be content it can be any form that is why the answer is one next coffee shot which type of intellectual property covers the expression of idea rather than idea themselves so idea themselves is patent trade secret is internal to the organization patent protect the expression of idea sorry patent protect the uh, idea so only thing is basic left is a copyright so copyright is basically cover the expression of idea rather than idea themselves because idea themselves is protect under the patent let's move to the next coffee shot recent development at aspirin technologies include the development of a new chip for a quicker mobile system in order to license the chip to the other firm for usage the company want to ensure the technology is not used without the permissions what type of intellectual property protection is best suited for this situation so chip is part of a innovation chip is a part of a new idea so a removed because question is not talking about building a uh, build uh, this will and all that we can go with the patent and we can go with the trade secret but trade secret come into the picture when you protecting the company so only option is basically left is patent that's why the answer is d so summary here is when you talking about copyright copyright protect the expression of idea like artistic work lyrics and all that but idea themselves will be protect under the patent google android okay then apple ios microsoft os but their source code need to be protect so no one should able to copy that expression of idea okay because they express the idea through source code right for android and all that so that also need to be protected that will be protect under the uh, copyright protection and some are internal to the organization that is a trade secret trade mean business secret is information and the company logos by which we identify as that that will be protect under the trademark so if you find this video useful do share in your network and do let me know in a comment box which is the next video you want me to create small homework i want four examples or each example of four intellectual property in the comment box and make sure you should subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos thank you for watching my video goodbye